ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom, equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest as we make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Thank you so much for that intro from our most recent uh, Patreon guest player, which I'll get to a little bit later in the Patreon ad, but Jack Packard. Everybody, this is one of the nicest guys that we've ever met uh, doing this show, and we highly recommend that you go and check out his other content and support those shows as well. You can find him over at The Escapist on YouTube, and if you haven't already heard of it by now, what sort of rock are you living under? Red Letter Media over on YouTube and redlettermedia.com as well. So check that stuff out. Highly recommend it. That previous me on that boy. We'll, uh, we walked through a minefield being chased by uh, spider foxes, and uh, I think we, we almost caught, the, caught our man, I believe. Welcome back, listeners, to the 41st episode of our fifth season. Thanks for tuning in again. We are going to start where we left off last time, as the crew had just exited the minefield and is standing on the edge of a forest in front of them. Densely packed, well, not, the trees are about uh, four-ish feet apart, but there are skulls adorning the outward row of trees. Uh, spike are those skulls. naturally occurring? Or? No, it looks like they're <laughs> t- tied on there. No, they, them, they grew there. Yeah. The, the tree skulls? Gore. That's what acorns look like on this planet. They're aged. <laughs> they're aged, okay. Skull yes. corn. So, yeah. Yeah, like, like you do on the farm where you just get a skull of an animal and you nail it to a wall and hope the vultures pick it clean. Yes, it'll no. bleach itself in the sun. You put then it you in, can a, eat your cereal in a maggot out. box. Oh, no, we let the vultures take care of it on the farm. <laughs> so, yeah, they're just dangling from the trees and uh, carved keep out. Dingle, I'll send you a Snapchat. Dangle. Numerous Excellent. languages. Excellent. Good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I know. Its tongue is still hanging I'll out. I'll try to not masturbate before I get it. Well, you, you, please. Hmm. I want to be fresh, you know? I don't want <laughs> to be sloppy. Yeah, you don't have to, to work the, for it. To the vulture feasting. That's fair. It's nature. It's beautiful. And All right, I walk in. <laughs> okay, you just walk into the woods. All right. Oh wait, no, I go right. back. Zoop Zoop's gonna the skip mind. in, I suppose. <laughs> no, 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 I go back to one of the. Which one says "keep out"? Uh, so every tree on the outside has multiple languages of "keep out," and then a skull hanging right below. Carve no. <laughs> and then walk <laughs> forward. The forest just collapses. It doesn't know what to do with it. So. What kind of skulls are these? There are spike tail skulls. There are human skulls. Uh, there seem to be some other species. Looks like a beetoid skull, which is like a beetle person. As someone who doesn't have bones, I don't they get the skull. Oh no, there's one of yours. Wait, <laughs> no, that's just, just a, a that's beak. a balloon that was caught <laughs> in a branch. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, that is my uncle. That looks like uncles. Oh, rest in peace, <laughs> pieces. <laughs> uh, I mean, just at least that one. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. So there's all kinds of different, the human mostly, but also a fair number of spike tail. Uh, they're all pretty gory still, as as though they're not that old. Maybe, maybe changed out on a regular basis. Did they, did they not have uh, carrion birds or microbes in this planet? My no fungal network. They've been told to keep out. Yeah, <laughs> it says keep out. What, what, what in every mean? language. Yeah. See, there's microbial over there. Uh, can I <laughs> go? Up barely to, read it. It's fine no, print. It's very difficult. Can I go up to one of the human skulls and like take some of the flesh off and taste it to see how old it's been? Sure. Let's go with a, uh, a survival check, check sure. or Oops, nature survival check. Survival is good. Oops. Survival it is. Uh, so twelve. Do you say you speak survivalese? Is that what you said? Just go with it. Keep going. Okay. Nobody said that. It's always fun to talk about. You guys are so quiet. People's revolution. We're not quiet. <laughs> I'm uh, just yeah, we're talking. Hold on. We're if talking. we talk this, let's just get here. Hey. 
Are you conspiring <laughs> it's, against me? It's a great idea. I pull the pins on this is Joran's just, grenades on his bandolier and run away. This is what happens when we, when, we all, when we all do stealth checks. Yeah, he does it. Everybody listening, we're just going to do this the rest of the show. Get strap in, strap on. Tune in and drop out. Yeah, tune in and drop out. The, the revolution will be ten of Something about the revolution, you're right. What? Um... So how old are them bones? At least a week. Dad, dad, they are tasty. Nom, nom, nom. Does that satisfy my bloodlust that I have inside of me? Yeah, you know, a little bit. bit. I haven't eaten a couple capitals. Hey, was sure. Okay. Yeah. It not, reminds uh, me, I need they're to They're not feed bloody, Chumbly. so they're not like driving you into a frenzy to see them. There's just some meat left on them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in. Okay. Because I, mean, I never learned to read! The woods, they just explode. The whole woods explode. Just That's why fine. You, you should have sign? missed it. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, everybody. So yeah, you just walk into the woods. Yeah. The woods don't have in. much underbrush at all. It's or underbrush. Overbrush. It's just trees. And so they are like pine trees? They kill everything around them? Uh, they are like Murder a, trees. a dull gray color for a bark. And they're they're kind of built similar to a tall or to a pine tree where the the tall ones where there's about ten feet of nothing, like no branches. They're just nothing. It's just truck. so there's no light coming through to. Uh, it's it's not dark in these woods. It's just kind of dim. Dim. Yeah, I would say yeah. it's dim. The the woods mm. are lovely, dim and deep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a lovely dim color. In gray. Yeah, the the bark is gray. The actual needles in any fo- fo- foliage that's a uh, blue colored. It's called foyer. Oh, that's right. You have color correcting glasses on, so they're green. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks normal again. This is wrong. Click better. <laughs> it's better now. Works for people too. Oh, <laughs> oh yuckish! Gosh, looks like a, You're looking accountant. fantastic today. You, you look like a a guy from a New Jersey Turnpike. Ten style. Never He's saw your pastrami oppos- sandwich. I never saw your opposable thumbs before. Like I told you that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just you. You're so greasy. I could fry off of you. <laughs> what? What? And we walk into the woods. Okay. So we walk into the woods. I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak into the woods. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. All right. We're gonna whisper the rest of the time so you can't hear. Us. No, just me. <laughs> oh, just you. <laughs> Sorry. You whisper then. Yeah, you whisper so we can't hear well, you. I got a twenty-one. I can still hear that. <laughs> You're very sneaky disappear into the shadows of the trees. Is there like a path? I see that bitch. So <laughs> I fucking see him too. It's all very <laughs> flat and what the fuck is he doing? Like I said, not much plant life on the ground. Um like it's been trodden like fairly heavily. But yeah, when you walk in there it's just kinda Does the noise die when we go in there? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Just like all our hopes and dreams. Yeah. Like when you come in the podcast, the sound just kind of dies. It's just like, hmm. well, that's just the light behind our eyes. <laughs> well, yeah. It's the physical representation of hope. Well, the sound catches up when you come in the studio. Well, the light can't disappear from my eyes if I never had it in the first place. That's fair. <laughs> Welcome to the Nihilus pile. Well, as we're, as we're treading, <laughs> trodden <laughs> trails, let's uh, take oh. a break. No, no, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's keep our eyes out for uh, danger. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be actively perceiving with uh, yeah. a critical twenty. You can see that on certain trees there are uh, cameras. It looks like, and they're just scanning around. But they're uh, they're not right at the edge of the wood line. So you know, if you go in about another fifteen feet, that's when the camera angles will probably start to pick you up. We've got cameras. Duh, I'm going to go into the shadows. We. Oh, yes, okay. you do that. I also have an idea. I think what? this is a job for Chumble do. I mean, a little, get him in my hands and whisper to him. You're going to use a fetus? And just yes, let he's him go. tiny. He'll be, hard, he'll be hard to track on the camera. He's you a, think it's a good idea? He's a water creature without a suit, right? I, I, he's a land squid is what I he tell is. Tell him for every uh, camera he breaks, he'll uh, get a pound some, of meat. some rubber gloves. He could <laughs> yeah, probably put him in a rubber gloves. Him. With little, little goggles. <laughs> So he can. Uh, I did not bring comically small goggles, so um, we we'll have to make do with just like cutting little holes. We can't. Don't our handhelds have like little three D printers? Because it's the future. No, we can make some. <laughs> no. I'll roll for it. That's where the grenades come from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we do three D print them. You don't. When, when a mommy and a <laughs> daddy didn't even get a high low. <laughs> really love each other. I did. You didn't get it. 
Well, I didn't. You didn't even ask. Oh, you, I did. You just forgot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Seems like you're giving it a chance. Uh huh. <laughs> I just always have a 3D printer on me. It's portable. It's We've portable. got the goddamn spaceships, Dennis. Is it here with you? We fly here in a spaceship. Yeah. In warp drive. It's <laughs> inconceivable to you that there could be 3D printers that fit in your hand. Yeah. A television will never fit in your hand. It's the 50s. My name's Dennis. Like a Game Boy printer? Yeah. <laughs> Not possible, apparently. It's, paper. it's beyond the scope of, of mortal technology. Yeah. Oh, well, I must have one then. <laughs> yeah, but but you left it in hell. Oh, damn it. It's a thing. Shit, I gotta go exactly, home. I left my 3D printer exactly on. Exactly where I left my car keys. <laughs> also, fun fact, we all forgot, well, mostly I forgot, that we gave John, or I gave John frog legs that were deep fried. <laughs> totally forgot about that till. Well, that episode. was just in the- Oh, in well. The, Strange zone. They, it, as soon as we left America, oh, did left. they turn back? Yeah, you yeah. said it. Oh, I figured. I just forgot. Nope. Okay. Play has progressed. Emma. Uh, all right. And so if not, I, I 3D printed him some regular. I wasn't gonna turn him back. Hellacious legs. But I yeah. just. Uh, I take the glove and I. I asked uh, my friend if I can my, dip it in his tank to get the legs salt water. Normal to me. <laughs> I want to dip anything in me. <laughs> Well, I do it anyway, and I, tie water's off, I gray. throw Chumble Dew <laughs> in there to tie it off. I, what if I just sneak up to a camera and spray it with my spray paint? Do you have spray paint? Sure. As long as it's not Why? 3D printed, it's <laughs> For <fine>. huffing. <laughs> For huffing. Yeah. If we don't I have spray, paint, I you spray just it into mud. a sock <laughs> and then huff it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I smash <laughs> the camera. My, <laughs> fa- my face is all silver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought this was my skin color. No. Well, all right. It rides eternal. That, in lieu of that, can we just uh, do like a montage roll to try to s- sneak into the cameras and break them? Since we sure. don't have paint or Jumble Do can't go do it. Everybody roll a stealth check again. Do I have to re-roll? Yes. But you didn't even ask me what my original stealth roll was. I didn't even. I thought you had already rolled to go Great, into it's the woods. better. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I got a 19. Okay. Yeah, oh, 25. Also, also get a 19. Okay. I got a 1. Hey cameras! <laughs> He's just throwing pine cones and skulls at it. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> he sprays the spray paint into the Chumbledew glove and huffs it. <laughs> so, you, Chumbledew! I'm so, coming for you, Garth. So each of you go over to a camera and you disable it without it, you know, being seen. They're not very uh, sturdy. They're pretty simple cameras. But uh, Zorthox over there just. Big dick, just sort of wide stance, walking real slow and big and flamboyant, and just immediately gets picked up by a camera, and you hear a high-pitched, like a a whirring noise, and then you notice about 100 feet in the distance, some trees slide open, and humanoids walk out. They look like they've been cybernetically enhanced, and they are different sizes. From this distance, it's a little difficult to tell exactly what they are, unless you do something, some like special perception check or something. But are they Tinebra? Twenty intelligence check. What the uh, fuck are those? So they're Borg, obviously. No, oh, they're bull rings. <clears throat> Two of them are spike tails that look like they've been outfitted with mortar cannons. Uh, there's a rock topolian, or rock up rock apolian. Rocco is mud and Napoleon, yes. I can't read my own handwriting. Uh, that It's much bigger than the rest of the creatures, and it, it has almost like a handheld, not Gatling gun, but like a hand, like a, a two-handed cannon sort it's of an, thing. It's an Octopolian? Rock, rock, rock it's Rocopian? a rock man. It's a rock man. Rocktopian. It's Korg. Yeah. And then uh, there's uh, two Shitkins, uh, two Flurn, and uh, two Shoopty Whoops, a.k.a. Platypus people. The heat all of them. How are these cameras being powered? When you break the camera, there's a little wire hanging out of the tree. That goes into the tree? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to gonna pull on that to see how much. So they drill into these trees and then run power lines to each one of these cameras? Seems that way. I mean, that seems a little far-fetched. I'm going to test well, one of these trees. Is it actually a tree? Uh, you mean you're just going to start, like, scratching it or something? With a 22 intelligence check with my scan in my bob. Uh, you scan it and you're, it's definitely a tree but it's been hollowed out it's a fake tree so the insides uh have like 3d working parts and stuff like that so all these trees are dead but they're not portable so it's okay but they're yeah <laughs> they were at one point they had to be to get here well when you put the port in it right yeah mm, yeah so yeah so that's now the things that have popped out of trees have not like 
seen you guys yet or moved in your general direction? So but they're about a hundred or so feet away. Are they on a hill or is it just a flat? This is all flat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of hoping I could die on a hill, but that's fine. <laughs> that hill, your hill. How, how far apart are the trees? Four feet. Yeah, four feet. It's a good climb up the tree. Okay, you can climb up a tree. What are you, a demon monkey? Fucking tar- Tarzan my way through. Well, they don't have vines, but yeah, you could jump them from tree well, to tree. four feet away. I don't even have to use a vine. Yeah, it's true. Just jump and jump. Just lean TikToks and are where it's at. <laughs> yeah, he's like seven feet tall, isn't he? <laughs> and grab. <laughs> they got pine nuts. Right? I'm gonna. St- I'm. I'm just gonna st- move closer to them, but stealthily. But also kind of give them a, a wide berth. Okay. Are they just standing there, or are they moving forward? So the <clears throat> rock person is standing in the uh, back middle, not moving. He's just standing still. The two um, spike tails, they're on either side of him, about three feet apart. They're also not moving. They're sitting perfectly still. The shoop de whoops and the shitkins are about What the hell ten- is a shoop de whoop? Uh, it's a, a platypus, platypus person. And, and a shitkin, shitkin? Is, like the, is like a chicken person. Hate it. All right. Yeah. They are sort of two by two and, and sort of patrolling back and forth. And then the two flern are standing fairly close to the spike tails and look like they have some sort of satellite dish coming out of the top of their head that's spinning around. So they're like a NPC god patrolling right now in an MMO? We've triggered some sort of event? Yes. Yes. All right. I think. I think that's what he's saying. I'm not 100% sure what he's talking about. There's a large ranged unit with two mid-ranged defenders. There are two groups of patrollers around it and then two people. Who are kind of like spotters because they've got satellite thingies. Holy shit, what is that? It's, it's, the, it's a very, very simplistic diagram for us to understand yep. the layout. <laughs> what? How Hold can on. you even do that? What? And and where are the trees on this? I didn't draw the trees. They <laughs> are they are assumed yeah. trees. <laughs> what are they? Imagine the I've trees. I've never even thought about this. Imagine trees. That's my Imagine Dragons cover. If you hated them like a hex grid, you could just assume that every hex point was the trees in between them. I'm yeah. assuming that the shoop shit duos are going like this. Yeah, they're going and like they're the, like the laterally. Yeah. Yep. Are they doing like that or are they... Are they They're like passing one going like this way, in the night. and then this one goes, so they yeah. just they just so they follow pass. a loop here. Yeah. All right, everyone. I see we go around them by 500 Here's yards us, to the right. Oh, God. <laughs> There's that missing sheet. <laughs> uh, you, you just take that. But those are just boobs. <laughs> so no, it's paper. Sh- don't don't give got, them my secrets. We got some patrollers in front. We got the the dino uh, what, mortar men. Boys, the dino, dino boys. boys. Spike tails. Right in the middle, we got the uh, ro- rock man. His name is Rocksteady. Those the are b And then he's quite steady. The Flurn. Those are the ones with the with the satellite dishes. Yes. They can detect stealth when we get close. Here. Maybe. Look, guys. What are these called? A map. <laughs> oh. It's a diagram. I mean, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, really it's not, not a map. It's a map. I guess this kind of space underneath Austin, like we could even like put something there. Nope. Not possible. Well, I mean, right. like with that open spot where the world is, couldn't we just put this? Nope. Di- oh. Like a little bit of no, map. No, that's actually what uh, my character just drew in the sand to tell you guys what's going on. <laughs> but yep. this probably took you like all day to make, right, Austin? Uh, Eighteen deception. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was so, actually drawing it before we got here. <laughs> these uh, <laughs> I shot it into the ground from space. <laughs> these cybernetic enhancements uh, make them seem a lot more robotic than organic at this point. Uh, lots, But they're also kind of low-tech looking, like a poor man cyborg. So they're, we're on the island of Dr. McBro. Kind of. The junkyard Borgs. Yeah, they're <laughs> junkyard Borgs a bit. I want to join that gang. <laughs> that sounds awesome. The junkyard Borgs. Do they have skulls? Not Welcome anymore. to Scrapyard I mean, you on Cybernetics. Their heads are kind of not their own species so much anymore. It's kind of like uh, the drones, you parts. say. Oh, I know what happened. Was it surgery? What do you, do you think, sir? Is fire babies? Fire but I could just babies. fly. Just fly over them. They've got His satellite wing, dishes that fling you. Sometimes. <laughs> like once glide. per encounter, which we have 8 million encounters a day. Okay. 
You can do it. Zorthox, I believe in you. Or maybe it's once a day. I don't fucking know. You get to make the rules up, bud. Oh, okay. <laughs> because well, I can uh, do it whatever I want. I three yeah. pre- I three D printed some encounters. Well, I'm just gonna retcon everything that happened before the episode starts and fuck all you over. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a I'm thing three D printed glider. Before. What if we give yeah. up once? <laughs> what if we surrender? Like, hey, we surrender. We want to be robots. But we can each put a grenade in our anuses, <laughs> and then when the when he goes to <laughs> show you, buddy. Why? Why would Hold you? Hold become... on, they're oh, okay. finish. Oh, I'm finish. Oh, I'm sorry. Not me. Don't want to edge your idea. That, that was it. Okay. Whenever he sounds goes like to... good plan, Dad. <laughs> John, you, since you have all the good names, uh, you should lead by example. Well, I actually only have one up. left right You're now. Fucking us. <laughs> so until we get back yeah, to the uh, ship. Okay. Well, I guess I forgot uh, my portable 3D printer. Uh, it's literally uh, the wristwatch. I have a two on me right now. Does anyone now. have a 4D printer? You, we could print a fourth <laughs> wall to break, and then I'll just walk through it and get some more. And come back. Now uh, that Perkins is the only one that has Damn it. Damn you. Are you for porn. Not on the ship you do. How do you connect? He can hear us. Drop the lobster. Because I've got the 4D thing. I could just go around the whole. No, he's he has a 4D. Thing. It's this, empty this now. 45 <laughs> thing. He pees in it. No, I pee in and then re drinks the cat box. Oh, hold on, Ken. <laughs> if we're currently speaking to Perkins because he's able to break the fourth wall, <laughs> no. drop the lobster. <laughs> And also beam us up. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay. So can we, it's... can we just like go around these guys? No. I mean, it looks like uh, it looks like it's going to be difficult since they have antennae that can track stealth. Mm. Well, I mean, we don't know that. It could be for broadcasting. The, the... Yeah. What, Jordan I'm gonna, lied I'm to us? Up. That's the PBS. I'm <laughs> opening up my scanner, <clears throat> and I'm gonna I'm gonna scan for. Weird frequencies that weren't here. Weird frequencies that weren't here. So, like, if if they're sending out radar or lidar signals, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I should be able to understand <clears throat> it. Gotcha. Uh, yes, your scanner is definitely picking up some sort of radar. What if we go underground? Ooh. Could work. Can can we just try to snipe those uh, laser men with the the doobly doos out of their head? We've got seven dudes in front of us, heavily <laughs> armed. Yeah, we should try to not engage. And we just have f- five of us? Yes. Because the Robro is with us? That's right. Oh, that's right. Keith is here. Well, Robro's forgot with about us. you, Keith. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I forgot about me, too. I can't wait to open them up like a can and they live inside him. What? <laughs> Uh, they are going Keith. to be very pretty. I don't, I don't like that idea at all. Apartman.com, that's right. It sounds hold like on, it, it's on. not going to be efficient at all. Keith, yeah. you, you're good with ideas, right? You figure out problems? Uh, Sometimes, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, take take a crack at, no. with your brain and think about these guys. What do, you, what do you think we should do? He's good at figuring out problems that don't have anything to do with the plot. I botched. <laughs> Suspicious. <clears throat> charge. Oh, you can walk over. Here. Anybody can walk over. Keith, walk over. Keith, don't, don't do that. I think we should charge him. I, you're gonna remove that idea him. from your memory banks. <laughs> Removed. Thank you. What are we doing here? What's going on? We're, we're gonna figure out a way to get through this uh, patrol group of, of cyborgmen. Oh, we should charge. Delete that idea <laughs> oh. from your memory banks. Deleting. And Need then charge, delete Keith. that <laughs> from it too. <laughs> okay. Just, just go back ten minutes. Okay. Bleep. It's just like Previous cut to the future. <laughs> Keith, Keith is looking through his logs and trying to figure out what the fuck his idea was, and he's snorting a bunch what of robot it? Adderall, going crazy. It's vision. <laughs> I don't know how we got here. Um, Whoa, my mind stone's totally open. It's blown. What if we? What if you throw one of those grenades in the opposite direction, kind of forcing them off the hill, or seeing what they'll do to get off the hill? Well, I've got one left. Who's got a strong arm? Oh, so it's who- Zoop Zoop, because I've got a robot arm, so if anyone needs to football cock that <laughs> thing he- real far, it's For a second, Zoop. I thought he was trying to have the baby do it again. I was like, the- it's a baby. <laughs> Is it? It's <laughs> but he's baby. got the already coupled The recruits. baby's really stretchy, so you can use it like yes. a sling, and then... <laughs> Everybody knows baby octopods stretch, like a slingshot. Or like or like one of those like rubber hand things that, that are sticky from when we were kids. Oh, yeah. They still have those. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody plays with them. Anymore. It's all the same ones. They never made <laughs> they got, new ones. They got well, all fuzzy and dirty, and they don't stretch out anymore. <laughs> that's right. It's but God damn it! Could they dirty. fuck up the paint on a sounds wall? Sounds like that. Sounds like <laughs> humans. Actually, are you just talking about humans now? Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. So zoop zoop. <laughs> uh, I guess here's my last sticky grenade until we go all back right. to the ship. I guess I'll give it a toss. Wait, What's your you... bonus to strength? Uh, plus three. All right. With the robot arm? Say, isn't yours higher? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was going right, to say, well, I get, I get strength monster? double proficiency in athletics if I'm just trying to throw it far. Athletics it is. So uh, shot proficiency put. at eight is Hammer plus throw. three. So I get plus six. So I get plus nine to this roll. Yep. Okay. It's plus ten. Watch. <laughs> I get a 24. We all know Tristan can't do math. Were you trying to throw it? I would have gotten a 28. Uh, <laughs> far away from us and to the right closer to them. What if you assist? <laughs> they're right ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, they're straight ahead. Yeah, so, you so, see so the before map? you throw... <laughs> oh, no, I can't see the map because I'm uh, in a different room. Oh. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Uh, Send them a so picture. Do you want me to throw it at them? Or are you no. saying I should... I know. We're trying to, we're trying to waste the house. We want to distract them. So, like, we're going to use the sticky as pulling aggro, and they'll go after that. <clears throat> yeah, so I was like saying... Like, you're a low-level character in an MMO. So I was saying, if they're here, I want to throw it off to their right. He's, Phil said... Yakish is, is uh, drawing you a diagram on the tree in front of you. No, I, I understand. I was saying I wanted to throw it off to their right, like diagonally from us out to the side so that they go check it out and we go forward where they used to be. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you do that. You toss a grenade over there. It sticks to a tree. Uh, when it goes off, it shatters the tree that it's stuck to as well as uh, three or four trees in the surrounding area. It does 17 damage. Yeah, it just explodes it in half. And well, they're hollow trees. Yeah. Lots of sparks, surprisingly. Yeah. So when that goes off, you notice that, obviously, the uh, creatures take notice. The Shitkins mm -hmm. and shoop -de whoops immediately start marching in that direction. The larger back uh, troops, they just sort of turn in that direction. And then the ones with the radar, they they stop spinning, and they mostly are just like barely wobbling back and forth in the general direction of where the explosion was. So now we, we go to the left. <clears throat> so we're gonna move to the left. Yeah. Okay. Stealthfully. Stealth to the lift. Okay. Critical twenty. You're super stealthy. Holy shit! I've got two of those. And then Critical night. twenty. Oh, oh girl. Twenty-two. Here comes a bunch of ones. Shadow. So I got a thirty. Uh, <laughs> I got a ten. Critical 22. Maybe you could encourage me, Captain? You can't no, do it after too the late. Fact. late. <laughs> you don't do it after the fact. You, you do should it always encourage, Captain. Uh, I, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> so, the, uh, the smaller units are still out investigating. You guys, aside from AJ, or uh, Zoop Zoop. Zoop Zoop is my name? Yeah, I said, I gotta get yeah. It's a body of AJ, but whatever. Um... You guys are completely stealthed. Buddy they, don't, they don't notice you at all. Unfortunately for Zoop Zoop, uh, little Jumbled Jumble Do is just <laughs> sneezes. <laughs> and the larger units have turned in his direction. Shit. And yeah. All right, all right I got the question. Uh, uh, the Zordox. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? I, I need to find Garth. Yeah, but do you need to talk to Garth, or do you need to kidnap Garth? I mean, it could be both. That sounds like a both. I mean, the way you worded that, it's, it's the same thing. Do you thing. need to kill Garth? I don't need to kill him. Depends what he says. Depends on his answers. It's more of a, it's less of a need and more of a, a want, maybe. All right. And as they turn towards the sound of Chumbledew sneezing, that's where we'll take a break. Hello, Patreon subscribers. It is I, Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here to talk to you once again about patreon.com slash botched podcast. Now, of course, you know, we had some changes at the beginning of the year, but, you know, they're already running and good to go. And, in fact, we even had one super crazy person sub to the $100 level, which, if you're wondering what you get, you, you, get, a, you get a different color name in Discord. That, that's it. It was, it was a joke. Nobody was supposed to actually sign up for it. Um, thank you, margaritas, I guess. Anyways, but for everybody else who's a normal human being, uh, $3 gets you into the Discord, and we highly recommend 
getting in at the Discord because we have a super active and amazing community. They have different channels where they talk about anime or you know they share pictures, cooking, stuff like that. But then recently they've also added a botched loser channel, which is all about losing weight and bettering yourself, you know, health-wise. Super cool. But the five-dollar level, which is, you know probably one of the more important levels to get to is the bi-weekly monthly Patreon episodes. This month we had a super special guest, one of my favorite YouTube channels, uh, Red Letter Media, one of you know the guys on that show, uh, Jack Packard joined us and super nice guy, uh, lovely paintings of corn dogs on his wall. And uh, you know what? Let's just play a clip from the episode. Oh, it's a good, it's a good thing you didn't share that one. <laughs> Just drawing boobs in Emma's paint. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're perfect maps. That's the freest porn there That's, is. <laughs> you're wrong. Look at those areolas. Why must they judge my maps? Like seriously, I made maps. They complain when I make maps. They complain when I don't make maps. Okay, I get it. The maps sucked. It was a little draw. Anyways, I digress. Head on over to Patreon.com/slash/BotchedPodcast and subscribe today for all the goodies. Now, let's get back to the show. And we're back. All right. So, the larger creatures have turned in the direction of Chumbledoo and Zoop Zoop. They do not notice any of the other people wandering around. In the Come woods. on without me, guys. I got this. People. Okay. They are looking directly at Zoop Zoop. Uh, 21 stealth. You are still super stealthy. And I'm moving. Yeah, that's fine. 15. <laughs> he told me to uh, keep going. We have to re-roll <laughs> stealth now? Yes. 15 you said yeah well i mean is this something that could be taken care of diplomatically or do we have to we're about to find out i I I said i got it don't worry about it so um they soup if it doesn't go well just just take yourself off of aj yes i'll find the tree you'll pick me up exactly so put put on the baby put on the arm but (laughs) most of you are being pretty quiet uh yakish you are you like make the tiniest of little twig snaps. Fifteen, but they're not paying. Like they're more focused on Zoop Zoop, so they do not notice you because he fucked up so bad. So yeah, so you are okay. So you guys are off to the side now a little bit. Yeah, and, how many feet in would you say we're in? Um, at this point, after that check, I would put you about seventy-five feet in. So we've moved a whole twenty-five feet. Because we're going. They were they were three hundred feet away from the edge of the woods, and we were a hundred feet away from them when they showed up. Yes, is what you said. You said they appeared a hundred feet away. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Does that incur an initiative roll on my part? Yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, Are you really in combat right now? He might be. Put himself in combat. (laughs) All right. I get a seventeen. You would be first. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. Use my cybernetic arm. Oh, okay. Hold on, before yes. you go, this is an um, this is an American, right? Garth Jefferson. Mm-hmm. He's American. You think maybe a- maybe he'll talk to another mm-hmm. American. Yeah, maybe if AJ speaks up. That's a good hey, idea. Tell, tell him what you happened. You say that over the comms, right? Oh, yo, tell him what happened to America. You're That's trying what, to rebuild yes, new knew, New America. God damn it! Shut up. They can't hear it. This is in our comms. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I had to turn on to the, the American translator for you. Mm-hmm. All right, I, I ready in action. Okay. And um, I cut my hands together and slowly walk forward, yelling, Brother, I got news for you about our home planet. Every American that's left alive needs to know this. And I'm not lying. You're not lying. That's not the issue here. Do you want any kind of role? No. Like a persuasion? No. Okay. You get a, it sounds like a loudspeaker, and you just hear, get out! That's it. Echoes through the woods. Which way should I get out? Uh, You hear the, you can hear in the distance the weapons whirring up of the creatures that go after you, so. (laughs) I'm going to get into comms real quick. Uh, uh, Ages! Tell them what the the Democrats did to your home worlds! (laughs) They have Demo- it out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> the Democratic uprising destroyed America. I say as I walk, away, as I'm like backing away. Okay. The planet is destroyed. There are only a couple thousand Americans left alive. 
We need to breed together. <laughs> uh, you don't get a response on the on the loudspeaker or anything like that. The weapon's well, I'm, still I'm, warming up. Uh, they're still pointed at him. Yeah, well, I'm like backing away. Slowly. He's backing up, so they're not like. Firing. But they're focused on me. They are focused on you. So that's a round. Those guys get to move their move speed. Uh, as if a they stealth, move, not double yeah, we are move speed. Oh, you, you yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can move. We do. Okay. Um, do I know anything about this guy? No. Aside from he was like a, well, one of the few American scientists, and he was super into demons. Uh, well, I'm a- specifically uh, opening the uh, portal to Helvora again. Okay, I, I mean, I with twenty history, goal. I would know this, right? What? I would know that with my twenty history roll, of course. Yeah. Okay. And then he was shunned from the planet, which is why he's not on Mer- uh, better. Earth. Um, I'm still backing up. I'm we'll say. I'm also American scientist AJ Washington. <laughs> you may have heard of me. I. I travel in my spaceship from the sky with a man from the Hell Nebula, and he told me about we're heading to Hell. Maybe you like Hell? I don't know. I think I remember you like Hell. Uh, the weapons. And PBR. The so the the, the shitkin or not the shitkins the uh, spike tails and whatnot have like a little laser sight that then pop down as the moment you mention the. Uh, demons and like a little laser sight so it looks like uh they don't like that they don't like that fuck but they haven't fired yet they have not fired yet it's not their turn <laughs> <laughs> All it's right, a free uh, action to use a laser sight yeah i'm gonna for my first action i'm gonna use the dodge action okay what's that uh all attacks against me that i can see have disadvantage okay and i take dex throws with advantage okay um, and then with my second action, uh, I'm going to look behind me and aim my cybernetic arm Okay. to detach 60 feet to a tree behind me and okay. uh, repel with it. It's got a rope on it? Yeah, you wrote this. Oh, I don't yeah, remember. it's been established. Oh, okay. Cybernetic arm can detach and fly 60 feet in a straight line. Arm is still connected okay. with an extra durable metal cable okay. and can be retracted at will. So if it's holding onto a tree. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got it. Go, go, gadget arm. <laughs> go, so go, gadget oil. As soon as flip. they're about to shoot, I'm going to do that. Make it go. Well, I guess I'm going to move away, but while, yeah. while still facing them because my arm is cybernetic. So I just face sure. it backwards. Okay. So you just moved. Go. 60 gadget, feet, but I'm still facing them. <laughs> but you're facing them. But you move, yes. uh, Okay, so you're just further away now. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so uh, it's their turn. So the spike tails are going to fire off mortar shots. And I'm shots. going backwards. I and while, So the party's still going around them to the yep, left. Yep, 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 yep. Sweet. I get, yeah, I get it. Um, does a 15 hit you? I mean, he that was with disadvantage? It. Yes. <laughs> Patrons wrote it. He just literally... Put it into the I feel like he, just, he entered a fugue state, and then the clouds left, um, and he's like, oh, look. Look what AC I created. My AC is 16. <laughs> what? So you know. So my AC is 16. So it doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, so it was a fluke state. Oh, Second one does not hit, and then the rock rock pole, rock pole, and I fucking can't. With the, with the murder one. cannon? Just has giant, like, death cannon, uh, fires off with disadvantage, and will also miss as... Yes! Um, they, so they are, exp- so these mortars go off and thoo, thoo, and they land not super close to you, but wherever they hit, they just sort of blow up trees. Like they start fall, like wherever it hits, they explode in like an AOE, the trees fall down. There's just like dirt and dust raining down and all this stuff. And then the giant cannon goes through three or four trees. And then sort of just hits the ground behind you somewhere, again, causing a large explosion. So then all these trees are now on fire. Uh, no. Why? It's you dry, you it's can't dried, burn steel hollow, trees. dead wood. Are there not fire-based explosions? It's a laser it's beam? It's more force-based. It's a laser? So there's a lot of splinters. Yeah, lots of splinters. In though. the air. Space lasers can't melt steel trees. Got it. Yeah, see? He knows what's up. He's, he speaks the truth. Brother cousin. He speaks here. for the trees. He speaks for the trees. This is <laughs> Lorax. Tree speaker. And then you guys. AJ Loraxington. Uh, the other, the troops, by the way, that had walked away are now going in your general direction. Fuck uh, it. Zoop, zoop. 
Uh, so the rest of you guys keep on stealthing, I'm assuming? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Take my chances in the minefield. <laughs> <laughs> How okay. far in are we now? Uh, you're past them by this point. Oh, all right. That was quick. Like off to the side and, and Yeah, so we're, them, what, like 100 feet from the house? Um, I'd put it at a 100, 150. There's, there's a big difference. 150 feet from the house. It's three moves. And the house is just a... It's fit, yeah. A fairly dilapidated looking, like, log cabin with a satellite tower on the... Like, a ta- like the similar tower that you guys had looked at in the previous episode where they were bouncing that signal around, just kind of sticking right out of the, the top of this little cabin. Remind me what that tower looks like again? Uh, looks just looks like regular old scaffolding and made of spare parts. Like, like a think, think of goblin the... fort on a tree in Breath of the Wild? I did never play he that didn't game. Play think, it. Think, of a, think of the uh, radio tower yeah. from Far Cry. Well, I never played it. Oh, God damn it. Just, yes. think, just think of a <laughs> fucking cell tower. Just uh, build, a, build a radio tower. It looks, it looks like a tree. Then never repair it for 60 years. <laughs> there you go. It looks, like, it. Uh, it looks like one of those towers in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Bioshock. <laughs> never played it. It looks like the Gettysburg Tower now. Never seen it. Well, it's it's gone played all the ground. <laughs> Let's play. Let's cool. keep doing bits about games. Yeah, yeah. We haven't played. I mean, <laughs> meanwhile, I'm I'm running away and dodging these guys. It's okay. like the Tower of Babylon, from Babylon Five. No, from the uh, Tower I've never seen of it. Babylon. You didn't play it either. Yeah, I um, made the DVDs. I didn't play it. Yeah, you didn't play it. Yeah. Okay. So should we like knock and ask if he uh, wants to hear about his extended warranty on his car, <laughs> or how do you want to do? I guess this is. I guess this is where Zordog says time to shards. But like, don't don't shine too much, cause we don't want to give our position away. Obviously, from hearing about the the well, the hell parters, he doesn't care Roll anymore. Roll me perception check. Okay. Are there are there windows on this cabin? Fuck no. Just fifty cameras. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> I got a nine. They, you got a natural 20. Why do you need the windows <laughs> if you have cameras everywhere? I got 12. There are uh, windows, two windows in the front that you can see. Uh, you also notice that there isn't any, um, like I said before, it looked like trampled grass. Once you get beyond 100, like once it's 100 feet and in and in a perfect circle around this cabin, it's not grass, like trampled grass anymore. It's just stone. Like, he's trying to open the portal here. Like, um, not like one flat piece of stone, but like, uh, um, like, like a cobblestone. Like uh, bricks or even smaller, maybe like, uh, I'm trying not to gravel. say. Baby bricks. <laughs> Bigger than gravel. Baby bricks? <laughs> baby brick. <laughs> Do you wish you had a brick that a baby could hold? <laughs> I'd call Dude, them. From I'd, Glamo. I'd call them bricks. tubies, but uh, you guys. I know what tubies are. Okay. Yeah. Somebody else knows okay. stones. Great. <laughs> What the fuck is a tube? Yeah. If you go to a um, it's quarry, it's a type of rock. You rock can get. that you can get. And you use yeah. them to, you know, for your beach house if you don't want to do landscaping. Or for your the little, or like, like if you're gonna re-rock your, your driveway. driveway, like small uh, flagstones. <laughs> yeah, they're about yay big. Yeah, yeah. So bigger than driveway gravel. That's the size of an but apple. Smaller than <laughs> a grapefruit. That's stupid. Yeah. We're, st- we're dumb people. <laughs> <laughs> Making all these stone references stone that reference. people get. Somebody's gonna know quarry stuff. Our fucking stuff. one Mason <laughs> listeners like, ah! I he said, finally, he said two B. I get I that. I know I stuck it out long enough for something. <laughs> Why would the Freemasons care about that? Five stars. Because we predicted the Capitol storming. Oh, Josh. that's right. <laughs> we did. That was crazy. All right. So you guys are at the door. Do we do we do another round of didn't say right combat the movement? <laughs> we're going in. We're in. The, we're inside now. <laughs> we're having, in the basement. You're having tea with the guy. Uh, so yeah, it's your turn then. We're sharing tea Zoop with the Zoop. guy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fuck. Would you like a hand? Oh, well, I also mean, have a foot over here. You have to ask them first, or at least spit on it, or take them out to <laughs> no. dinner or something. I don't. Know. I, I'm gonna. I've got some lungs over here. So my arms retracted. I'm up in the trees now because I guess I. You went up egg. in a tree. I you thought didn't you just specify pick... I thought which just direction. Grabbed a tree and went in a direction. I didn't know he went upwards. Well, I would phys- for because of physics, I would have to angle it up, or else I would just be dragging myself into the <laughs> <Yeah>. dirt. <laughs> That's so, what I thought you just did. You just <laughs> no, so it was angled up. Trees. So I'm maybe twenty feet up. I guess I'll try to angle it 
Does it work like a hook, sh- hook shot? It like it's pulls like a me. Hook shot. Okay, I'm gonna. How many times? Hook shot does, it say, does it say how many times you can use it? Give me the uh, give me the folder. Here's the five star folder. <laughs> Level eight soldier. Cybernetic arm can attach and fly sixty. That's feet why everyone can do line. all these things. Okay. So I'm... Arm is still connected with an extra metal durable cable that can be retracted at will. I would say it's an action though. Yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. Okay. But he can do it once. Yeah. So I get two actions. Once per round. Yeah. And a minor action and bonus action. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna do it as while still facing them, and I'm gonna keep telling you, you gotta see the truth, brother. So you're the zipping. The planet's blowed up. So we got a mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you're zipping to another tree. But for like back towards the minefield. I, I get it. you're going so away. So technically, like you could use your fifty feet of move action and then get a second move action. Exactly. With your with your robot. Or if I was double moving, <laughs> and then I could retract, so I could actually triple move. Yeah, triple move. If there's no, trees, he's up in a tree. So what movements? Well, no, but I'm not. Yeah, he so can move I'm up. Gonna, he can come down. down up jump action. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of move actions he can do. He I'm could actually Tarzan himself. He could just fall. That's a free action to let go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's free. It's true. It did start the momentum so I could swing further that so way. So you zipped 60 feet <laughs> backwards. And then what? Uh, dodge action. And I'm still yelling Where's to try to keep their do? attention. I already I just told you. I know, you. but like it's... Okay. So you're just still hanging in a tree, though. Yeah. Okay. And dodging. And dodging. Okay. I mean, it's all happening at the same time, so I'm, like, spinning as I draw my cable arm, so it's hard for them to shoot me. How about that? Sure. We'll go with that. All right. Oh, did he respond to, we got no. a mate? Oh. Don't you want a mate? He's not responding to any of the shit that he's saying. <laughs> don't we got you a, want to don't, want a mate? A. <laughs> don't, you don't you want, want to mate? You can't me. just spread your seed about the forest with your robots no don't more. You, want you got to father mate. some children. Bro. Don't you want somebody to blow? <laughs> don't you want to mate my bro <laughs> so don't you love the yes. spike tails are launching their mortars uh one basically just flies backwards somehow because he fucked up that bad uh other ones are just blowing up trees in your general vicinity but not where you are uh Ooh. the heavy cannon though is gonna hit you full on oh it's bad uh, okay. And you're gonna take. Good thing I didn't use mid it damage, skin. bud. You're fine. It's like a gender reveal party all over again. <laughs> <laughs> what? But this one's gonna set the forest on yeah. fire. <laughs> These trees can't burn. We established that. <laughs> oh, oh look, it came out red. <laughs> These Good colorless job. trees don't run with fire. <laughs> so I've got. So I've made two move actions away from them, towards where we came from, basically. Okay. Don't you have like manhandling equipment? Me? Man yeah. Handling. I'm sorry, what? He's a man catcher. Uh, like, what like, does that mean? Was that like, lube like, and <laughs> um, some, some Barry White? Oh, no, the like things that a bounty hunter would have, like to catch a man, to catch a, a predator. Zip ties? To catch a man. <laughs> a Zip chair? Ties and a, you got to get yourself beer. a man. Yeah. man AOL man instant knuckles. messenger account? <laughs> man Access to 4chan? Uh, you're going to take 12 damage. Okay, that's not terrible. And you have to do a deck save. You have advantage. I do have advantage he on that. He does have advantage. All right. And hope um, that he doesn't fail, because then he falls out of that tree. <laughs> that would be bad. All right. Good thing I have advantage. Yeah, but he's like 100 feet up now. I got Who knows? 19. <laughs> he's grabbing okay. on the clouds now. <laughs> yep. So you don't fall out of the tree. Skywalker. But they're, uh, yeah. Sky you, take, knit. you take 12 damage. It's lightning. <laughs> Ride it. As this round of force literally breaks the tree in front of, like the one that you're holding <laughs> onto, and hits you in the chest, and it feels like you've just been donkey punched. I ain't been kicked like a do- <laughs> like by a donkey, donkey like that like since a, I was I in said what I said. middle right. school. <laughs> and they yeah. also move up. Uh, I want your chewed one closer to where you are. The other troops are also <laughs> moving in your direction, but it'll be a little bit before they would get to shooting range since they only have rifles, like not sniper rifles. They just have rifles. Any rifle could be a sniper rifle if you're good enough. Yeah. All right, so that's what happened yeah. to Zoop Zoop. You guys, the crew that is sneaking up on the cabin, you're right on the edge of that where it changes into stone. What are you doing? Walking up. Two bees. I mean, well, or, like, or not two bees. bees or, or not two bees. Honey bees? There's no bees. I'm going to do a two. quick uh, scan of the two bees. No, they're, they're tube bees. Whatever. I don't care. Of the rocks. <laughs> Sure. Of the of the inorganic <coughs> rock matter. Yeah, scan okay. that rock. Because they might be like the trees. <laughs> They're all hollow and have cameras. 18 
Well, I was thinking maybe not cameras, <laughs> but like bombs. Your scanner is picking up that the rocks are rocks. Okay. But underneath of the rocks- It's not an ocean, is it? It's not an ocean. Oh. It's, uh, it seems like there is some sort of contraption. Your, your scanner, I don't know if it would know exactly what it is. It's just like a thick piece of metal that's also the same exact like shape of the rocks. Like that perfect circle. Huh. Just below where the rocks are. So. And how far does this circle of rock? The house is um in the center and it's a hundred feet. Okay. To the house. You need that diagram back. It's not a very good the diagram, not, really. The, the house at this point is not really on the diagram. You drew it on there. It's that's I a put, reference direction. Just, just so mm. you knew it was behind the You just put a little arrow. No. Mm. I mean the house is basically a little, little arrow. Little Steve Mill? It's a box with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> just a little one. Just, just a, a little, little guy. <laughs> You failed to see. <laughs> Ow. Stop shooting me with your tiny arrows, tiny Stephen Amell. <laughs> shooting you with toothpicks. You Push doing? pins. I have sleeping darts, mm-hmm. an electro net, and a laser whip. See? Let the backbone slip. You are well <laughs> catching them, man. Uh, I got the men catching tools. <laughs> <laughs> if you want men, I'll catch you, man. You have to make your mother happy. Whips. <laughs> you finally have man. You want man, I get you, man. I'll catch you, man. <laughs> I don't have any more grenades. I, I got find something to throw. I got three guns. Pick up a, a tubi. Okay. Toss it. See if anything happens. You just toss it someplace else in that circle? Yeah. Uh, you do, and nothing happens. I, I put my foot on it. Like right in, on the edge? Inside the circle. Yeah, like right on the edge. Nothing happens. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have feet. I have hoofs. Clack. Hooves. Good luck stealthing on rock. I still have boots. Oh. Do you want me to bring I out did, the, uh, I, the, I, the I felt not, for you? <laughs> booty I boots. thought you just had a bear horse. <laughs> no, I've got I've got horseshoes. Uh, <laughs> rubber horseshoes. God rubber. Horseshoes. Well, you don't want to get electrocuted. <laughs> Dr. Scholl's. Well, I don't want to slip. Horseshoes. i got non-slip shoes. <laughs> sure. Could be icy. They're orthopedic. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you I'll, step I'll, right on the edge and nothing happens. I'll take a couple steps in. Okay. And see if anything happens. No. I'm going to stealth up to the house. Okay. Roll your I, stealth. I follow. Suit. So you're like a... Uh, circle around the other side. Okay. Staying on the on outside. The edge. 16. Yeah. 16. Okay. 31. Oh. Like, your squid capoeira okay. dancing between the cameras. <laughs> just, <laughs> just disappear somehow into the... I also want to do a perception check. Well, I can camouflage with my surrounding, so. Um, kind of. Physical. Of, sort of rotten, but. Rocks can rot. Rotten rock. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's uh, rotten. Also, I'm going to do a perception. Rotten rocking. To, like, kind of look out for cameras and stuff like that. Okay. 14. Uh, you don't see anything. Other than that tower, that's all the technology. Noise see. perception as well. Can my 14 work for that? Do I hear anything like movement or anything? Other than the explosions behind you? Well, no, yeah. You don't hear anything. But my ears aren't this, facing that. Oh. This is why we have to play Pathfinder so we can do uh, move silently and hide <laughs> and spot and listen. Mm-hmm. So it's four separate roles instead of just one. Hey, gotcha. listen. <laughs> uh, We're not doing that. <laughs> so as you walk into the, the <clears throat> circle of tubies, you get about 50 feet in and the cabin explodes in a giant fireball. Like a huge, it, it actually, do a deck save, you three. Nope, I run into it. Okay. I'm immune to fire. He's immune it's to been fire. established. Okay. It heals you him. Just run into it. <laughs> well, the concussive force would still be a thing, wouldn't eh. it? I'll do he absorbs letters. it like Black Panther suit. I don't, suit. that's not a, mm-mm. He just takes half To damage. resist it. Resist being blown back. Okay, you could be resist. Deck save? Yes. Which means I have advantage. 17. Also, I'm 100 feet away from it. It's somewhere. 20. Okay. And I'm running into the fire. 18. You're all pretty much fine as this. I mean, you feel the blast hit you, and it sort of, like, makes you lean backwards a little bit, but... <laughs> lean back. Yeah, it's just, uh... Hey, you guys all right? Boom! And the, and the trees in the surrounding area also just fall outwards. Uh, and you notice that the... Cyborgs immediately just go <laughs> and just power down. That's son of a hey, bitch. Hey, Zoop Zoop, how you doing out there, buddy? 
I got shot, but I'm I got this armor on, so I'm, I'm all right. Uh, I guess I'll don't see any robots moving. You think it's safe? Uh, yeah. the ground just exploded, and I can't see Yakish or Zorthox. Can you guys hear me? Yes. All right there's there's Yakish. Died right next to you. Yo, Z Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> You, you crawl out from behind time. my legs. Yeah. Is it over? Uh, yeah, <laughs> look at Sorry, I don't, I'm not really into... Uh, You've got the ingrown toenail. Can I get that for you? Well, wait till we're back on the ship, <laughs> Yakish. I didn't say pulls, that. Pulls, that pulls, voice head. He pulls out a knife. What? <laughs> what? Was it me? There we go. Here's my, my toe, toe knife. knife. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, I head, out, head back to the group then. Okay. I'm you walk past the deactivated... Uh, Do you want to take one of their guns? Yeah, I want to investigate. I'm going to take some of those guns. You take all the shit. I'm going to take them. I want that giant cannon. We got some. We got some new weapons. So now. The, the hands are still Living closed weapons. around it. Uh huh. They're just not moving anymore. So they're just I'm like cut they're, those they're hands leaning off. over. Okay, you can cut the hands off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. From my cold metal hands. Hey, Zip yeah. Soup, what are you doing? Peace. Uh, acquiring arms. <laughs> uh, I mean, do you want me to join you? <laughs> Well, these robots have pretty cool weapons. We should, uh... Well, they might turn back on, and I was thinking I could come and, like, you know, turn them off. Well, can we bring Kevin over here to try to rewire them so that they're friendly? Kevin! It's Keith. Keith? Kevin's a different AI. Hey. It's rude! <laughs> Keith has been hiding Not behind a tree at the start. Not the your co-workers! <laughs> Keith, come here and help me rewire these sons That's of bitches. That's Ray Isis. Rewire them? Or just, like, snip a couple of these cords so they don't attack us if they come back to life? <laughs> snip a couple cords. Hey, yeah, you're hey robot. Keith. Yes? Can you reprogram their command structure to listen to us instead? Absolutely not. What if I, wanna... I help you because I believe in the nature of unorganic creatures? Maybe if you tell me, I'll think about it again and then see. Hey, I delete that. Delete for... that Deleting from your record. memory. Hey, Keith. Hey, we should charge. Uh, hey, delete that from your memory, oh. too. Oh, okay. All right, hey, Keith. How yes? much should we charge them? Uh, where, are, where am I? Where are we here in this, these we're woods? We're on a planet, and we need you to, to, well, to help us. I remember coming to the planet. Hey, hold on. Okay. We need you to help us. Do you have cocaine? Re yes, but okay. well, hold. We'll get it's to that. It's inside the main these robots. really good at the being a manager. <laughs> just, you know, no, they, your employees just talking all over you. He's a coke-addicted robot. There's really not much I can do. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, no. Have you never worked in a restaurant you're, with you're lying an undead cooks? octopus? <laughs> oh, here's, yes. a, here's a, a fine, upstanding man. Well, he's, and he's got a jello hat. He's got rocaine for Keith. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I, I, here, I'm going to... I'm just gonna walk over. Makes, okay. makes hair I'm gonna go over to the chassis. Okay. <laughs> I'll, let's let them do something while I'm walking sure. over. Let's go look at zoop, the zoop. fire. Hold, hole. hold up on, on reprogramming. I'm, I'm gonna right. come and join you. Okay. That's fine. I'm still sawing this guy's hands off. That's fine. Oh. All right. Do you have a saw? It's part of the cybernetic. I have a combat knife. Oh, you have a combat knife. I okay. have a retractable cybernetic arm. Has a built-in shield that acts like a buckler and a built-in sword that deals one d eight. Just ask. And is retractable. Just asking. While the hand is also still usable. Okay. So, yes. I'm just asking. Shia. It's attractable. That's, yeah. Get him. You can attract him. That's a sexy fucking sword. You wrote this, you stupid fuck. Yeah, so come on your I wrist. remember exactly every detail. <laughs> I don't. So, what? It's like it's like a Jaeger sword from Pacific Rim? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or it could be like the Giver blades where it's they just kind of come out like this. It's I don't know. It's like, like a mantis him. blade? Yeah. Mantis. I'm, I'm where it comes out like, like this. It comes out of the top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm envisioning a Jaeger sword. What are you two doing, uh, Yakish and Zorthox? Well, Zorthox is just in a sauna we're, right now. We're he's... inspecting the ruins. Okay. Well, it's currently just a fireball. It's just on fire. That's um, fun. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> I was going to say, you want to go in, Yakish? Yeah, fucking cook me up. <laughs> Start throwing dirt on it. I smell delicious. <laughs> nah, there's only stones here. It's <laughs> just going to add to the walls. On the other there's side. There's only tubies. I don't want to ruin these tubies. <laughs> Find some point four bees or something. I don't know. No, no, four bees. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sober. I don't like it today. Being sober around you guys. I get very irritated. Well, I'm going to use my um, my binoculars to look into uh, the fire hell. Did you say into the future? Binoculars? Binoculars! Like they're, they're I got them. Nope, I <laughs> okay. got them from a rock show! You can only look up? <laughs> 
Zarg, Dad, take it down. This like a. Da, da, da. You can really see the fire. Uh, you look like opera glasses. Yes, <laughs> <are out. laughs> I got them from a rock show. Use your color correction. <laughs> rock opera? Yeah, the, the electric <laughs> light <laughs> orchestra. It's got kind a of tint. It's just yeah. a lens. Of color. I was yep. thinking Trans Siberian Orchestra. No, oh, I hate the Siberia. There's nothing it's good cold. ever come from there. I don't like their food. It's gross. <laughs> It's just fish. It's, it's, it's just frozen fish. It's fermented uh, w- wolf pelts. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's if, I lived, if I ever lived pelts. in Siberia, I would just kill myself <laughs> right away. Uh, just interject, Yakish. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, Siberia's gone. Oh, <laughs> Siberia can't hurt me no more. <laughs> Never again. Uh, yeah, I can't go near it. I was, yeah, was going to say, say but I'll, I'll Blazing look. Inferno. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you can look. Uh, hold on. Let me put some of my yuck water on it to see if it helps. <laughs> Your yuck water? Oh, look. It's adding to the fire. <laughs> it does seem to, like, burst up far, like higher. Not everyone it's has like, to inhale my gross uh, vapors. It's it like pissing like, on a fire after you've drank a handle of Everclear. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's oddly specific. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, cooking... Um, like cooking, cooking, rotten, cooking with grass. Uh, what is it? What's the it's, it's pan- adding water to a grease fire. It's gotcha. pan frying lutefisk. Yeah. <laughs> Luna. I got the pea story too, but I'm not going to share it here. Uh, all right, anyway. So, Zorthox, you're just standing in a burning ruin, essentially, at this point. Yeah, I'm fine. Look for a trap okay. door. Is there, is there like a basement? Does it go down at all? No. I know there's something underneath. Doesn't s- Joran told doesn't me. Doesn't look like it. Well, he saw a plate there's underneath. A, there's a door. You don't see one. Are they golden plates? Uh, what kind of plates? No, the commemorative Disney plate. Oh no! That's the you only, want, all Hercules it's NASCAR characters. <laughs> Hercules characters that you got from McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's American. He it's, would be. He would have NASCAR. They're plates. just John no, Dale they're, Earnhardt's. They're cars plates. Oh. Cars plates. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I never I got thought I could meters. be sexually attracted to a vehicle, but then I saw <laughs> cars by Pixar. Damn, that station wagon. God damn, the tailpipes. So clean. It's so clean. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, it's Transformers that uh, turned the, you on? <laughs> just robots. That bumblebee. <laughs> that woke me to the little, racism. Little bumblebee. Robots. <laughs> Those robots made me buy. <laughs> <laughs> and as well, not 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 bisexual, but binary sexual. <laughs> and as the group sort of cleans up whatever's God. left over at this point, that's what we're gonna call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next. You time. can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Twitch, and Reddit. At Botch Podcast, this episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, his lord and majesty, Big Jim, he who is Steve, the Nuck, Big John, Chronic, Ejax, Grenard, Shanda Panda, B, Mel, Disgruntled Furniture, and Sparkle Brony 69. If you want to be one of those silly bastards who support us, you can do so over at patreon.com slash botch podcast. Like our newest patron, Christy P. Thanks for your support. Have a you moment, bet. head on over to iTunes and leave us a five star review. So, is it Chris, Christy P, or is it Chris DP? It's Christy P. Christy P, got it. No, don't call her that. <laughs> How is it spelled? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doxing her on stream. <laughs> and she didn't respond on what she wanted her name to be. Okay. So, it's her fault. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. On that. Oh, yeah, please head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review after we insulted you. Uh, follow Gozer for the... Uh, follow Jesus Christ, you fucking... No, I'm, I'm just thinking about sexy robots. Um, uh, thank you to Gozer for our intro and outro theme. More of them over at Gozer underscore music. And as always... She's a man in disguise. See you next week, nerds. Botch Podcast is proudly part of the Giant Size Team Up Network. You can support Dennis's new comic book projects over at patreon.com slash hivehead studios. And you can support Phil's streaming projects over at patreon.com slash imaginary nomad.
Can it be a human being? It could be. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're Doesn't a race. Say it can't be. Creatures. Humans are animals. Animal <laughs> pet companion can tame a new pet by capturing and working with it over the course of a day. I have nipples. Must pass so you tame me. Handling skill based on difficulty of the creature. So you don't do animal handling on people. You do if you see them That's, as animals. Those are, those are fantasy rules. <laughs> yeah. We're in space oh, it's where space. Uh, people aren't. Or pets. They, and they, yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe a bus full of toddlers? I don't know. Maybe a changeling in, a, in an apple crate. 